It's a million dollar question whether the team Brazil will be able to play the all important final in the Rio de Janeiro of 2014 FIFA World Cup or not. The question is whether they can keep the trophy in Brazil or not. They can, then the soul of Barbosa Nascimento will definitely get healed. He'll be relieved from the 64 years of tormentation for sure. But if they can't, then the tormentation will be pricking him in the seven slippers 10. Who was this Barbosa? He was a Brazilian goalkeeper in the 1950 FIFA World Cup. The moment the Brazilian team got beaten to Uruguay by two goals to one, the people of Brazil suddenly indicted him to be the villain. In fact, the two lakh spectators who were present at the Maracana Stadium on that day couldn't believe that Brazil can be beaten on their home soil. Barbosa got died in the year 2000. But the most agonizing fact is that, even in that 50 years, Barbosa was forbidden to enter in the Brazilian football community. Just before his death, Barbosa said that in Brazil, the highest punishment is of 30 years and I have been carrying all the punishment for the last 50 years. To find out this tragic hero of world football, we went to Praia Grande. We heard that Barbosa had a bar on the coast of Atlantic. It hardly takes five hours from the city of Sao Paulo to reach over there. After surpassing all those mountains and rocks when we arrived at Praia Grande, it was evening. We went to the bar but it was closed. We visited the bar once again in the morning. The present owner of the bar revealed that the moment Barbosa's wife got passed away, Barbosa named his bar on his name. Barbosa didn't have any children as well, so he didn't have any subsequent generation to follow. When he was alive, nobody remembered him. So when he is no more, who cares? Barbosa Nascimento ke brapto kore rakhe chilo Brazilian football. Brazil football. Unisho ponte shay goal ki pare kono khoji rakhi ni. Tar khoja is chila mamra. Kintu shotti. Ei praya grander mati to Barbosa kono sirti bechi nahi.